What is going on everybody, people of the internet, it's your boy Deadpool back again with another video, and I know, I know, don't air me out just yet, let me explain myself, been a very hectic week, I've been working a lot more, working six days a week, so I, that means I only really have uh, about a day to, to myself to um, do videos, but then again, no, because I'm too tired, um, I go to the gym five days a week after work, so it's been hectic. But you don't want to hear about all that. You're here for the title in the video. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Black Manta gameplay. Yep, this is what I've been waiting for. We can finally see how Black Manta is. Um, I mean, I'm excited. I mean, Black Manta is Black Manta. Um, so we are going to get right into it without further ado. The idea is for his normal attacks, he uses these blades. It's kind of like a Navy SEAL stuff, like a lot of slashing attacks. Talk real quickly for me. Uh, it's a double mid, high to mid in the beginning. Like, place in the map. What is he, what is he good at? Mix-ups. He is really medium good range. Mid -range combat. Yeah. He's pretty good up close, and I think he really excels from like the start of the round or a little bit out of. Gotcha. So let's start with his back three. His back three is super cool. He actually summons water and it has really good range. And That's cool. That's awesome. That's really cool. His four three is similar to like Starfires, where it's not actually that fast, but it comes out really fast. It's a fast animation. And then uh, we can go over moves. Yeah, his back one. This is to me one of his key moves. It's a very very fast long range move. You can see it hits at the start of the round, and it's nine frames, and it leads into two quick hits. And this is the full string. And his standing too. Again, you see a lot of these really fast knife attacks. They're really good for breaking armor and staggering. His two down three ends in a low, and then you can cancel into a special move. Another key normal is his forward two. You, you know, I, I talked about his range. This is one of the key. Like, this is a. I would call this a, a good footsie tool. It's safe on block. The last hits an overhead. It also has one of the coolest sound effects in the game. His, Head clanking? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Whoa. And then he has back to two, which is a low in an overhead. Pretty good range. Hold up. Did they just give him... Did you see how far away he was to start that combo? And number two, it, what, it started in a low and ended in an overhead? Oh, man. Come on, man. That's crazy. I'm sorry. That's crazy. For a low attack, he doesn't really have like an unreactable overhead, a super fast overhead. So it's not so much like a 50 50 tool, but it's a great move to start your pressure. Awesome. Here's his throw, which is one of the coolest oh, in the game. I love his throw. Alright, we saw that in the trailer. Nice. It's just brutal. The backstabbing is so good. His uppercut's pretty good. He uses a prop, which is always nah. good. His sweep is super cool. I beam. Jump attack I beam. A really good jump too. Alright, so special moves. So yeah, I would say um, I think he's a character where his normals are he kinda hovers around this range, looks for mistakes, whip punishes, or just goes in and starts pressure with his special moves, which I'll show in a second. Um, from a distance, it's all about this move. Yeah. Or jumping in. Or dashing in. I think basically he's going to be one of those characters like uh, you'll use this move like Black Adams Ford One or Superman Ford Two. Like he all, he'll run how quick you, that is. He'll be able to close the gap really quickly with his normals. Awesome. So special moves. We'll start with Manta Rays, which is a multi-hitting kind of. Now is that a full style. screen? The meter burn version is extended and it's safe on block, so you can use it like a block string, and it'll always be safe on block. It's not a full screen projectile. Okay. It's not really meant to be like a zoning tool. It's okay. Like good, good. Range if you think they're going to dash in, or you get into combos, or it's a way to, you know, end a juggle combo. Then he has Shark Attack, which is a really fast torpedo. That reminds me of Raiden. Kind of like a Superman Superman punch style move, or a Raiden torpedo, where it's a great whip punch. It's yeah, that, combo that, it's also his that reminds me of the Flying Thunder guy. High reward, well, high risk, low reward, wake up attack. And if you meter burn it, extends and this is going to be one of your key juggle lenders you can also do this in is it safe on block and you can 
still extended there. Nice. So then he has his harpoon gun. Oh, another normal I forgot, which looks super cool. Just beating him <laughs> to the end of his <laughs> harpoon rifle. So he has a harpoon gun, and um, this oh, is Oh, wow. A I tool love that animation. Tool, but it's <sighs> a lot faster than you think, and has really, really good recovery, and it's kind of a great full-screen check. Like, it's... It's not like a fireball that you'd spam, like a Dr. Fate kind of fireball, but it's really good to kind of do, and if they're trying to, like, dash in to get into the range of your normals, you can use it. You can meter burn it and get additional damage. And if they have, it's a high, and if they happen to duck it, the recovery is pretty good. It's going to be uh, pretty hard to whiff punish. Not impossible, but pretty hard. It's, it's definitely one of those great moves where you can just kind of do it and keep the opponent, like, patient, wanting to walk in. And then you can walk into your range, and then you're good to go in your 4 2 range. Gotcha. He also has an air version, which, again, is, is pretty quick, pretty decent recovery when it whiffs, and he has two versions. He can, he can hold down, and it'll be a little bit closer, and the meter burn is super cool. Stomps on him. <laughs> and again, I think this is a great space control move to use full screen, and the opponent's going to have to slowly walk in, and then when the opponent gets to here, you can go into back one. Cool. Um, it's also a great combo in here. So, uh, let's go into his torpedoes. He has these shoulder cannons. And these, like, really complement his mid-range. You put them out, and then... Today. Oh, they, they don't try... Uh, they he, go in this space. He's answering my questions like, before I can ask him. <laughs> whole, like, mid-range thing. If they happen to jump, they're going to get hit. If they're standing, they're going to block them, and then they're safe. And then the meter burn is two, but also launch. So this is one of his key combo starters, for example... And then you get the pop-up, you get the back three, and you get your jungle combo. Uh, so I think these are going to be good as combo starter, as space control, and then block pressure. You can kind of do stuff like this, and then, you know, they're going to respect that, and then you can do the whole string, or you can use his character power, which I'll show in a minute. And the thing about the rockets is if you hit him, if you see that he's doing them, and you poke him out of them, the rockets will fly away. So it's not guaranteed pressure. They're yeah, not we like were, we were playing earlier. There's a couple of times gotcha. where I tried to get through it, and I thought I was going to get hit because yeah, they'll, they'll actually fly off. There's certain you know there's certain things in the game where you'll actually get hit in those situations. Those right. are gone. These yeah. are not, and that's the way they're balanced. But the nice thing is, as usual, you know it's a conditioning thing. If the opponent's looking for the rockets, that's going to free you up to do his other pressure, his throws and stuff like that. Um, he also has a teleport move. And this is a great... That's going to be strong. So, if you're struggling to get mid-range, you're, you're struggling to get your harpoon game going, and the opponent's using fireballs against you, you can make a hard read and do a projectile. I wonder if you, you, you can combo off, off that. You get an I beam and then you get a combo. Or you can drop the combo. Oh, okay. You can. There's obviously better combos you can do, but I, that's my opinion. Nope, that's the top one. That's the top one. A standing <laughs> one into a lift 4-3. Yeah. Yeah, now, this is unsafe. The regular one is unsafe, and mm. you're it, you can duck it. The beam will with punish it. You know, it's 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 high risk, high reward. It's it's really kind of a move that you you want to predict the opponent's doing the fireball, and then you just go for it. It's a YOLO move, and it's also a combo extender. So like, it'll combo off this, and you can do your combo. You can actually, if he's not invincible when he's doing it, you can hit him out of it. Like, there's a lot of risk to it, but it's one of those moves where if you have the courage to establish that you're willing to do it, the opponent's going to be after scared of it. Very reminiscent of Supergirl's teleport. Cool. And uh, I guess it's time for his character power, which yep. is super, super cool. It's the ability to use his jetpack. And he actually will start hovering. Now, okay. this does not control like Hawkgirl's Flight or like Ermax Levitate and MKX. You actually have to hold it down. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. MKX. You actually have to hold it down, and I'll turn the meter rack on. Okay, so you have direct control over how much of the, See, the jet fuel control. that you use. So that's how much jet fuel you have. And you can hold it down and hover like this, or you can kind of boost yourself. You can also instantly go down if you want, and this has many, many purposes. You can use it full screen. Let's say the opponent is shooting mid-fireballs at you, right? You can hover over dodge the fireballs, and then do, like, he could do from the deep. And you can actually jump in the air, start hovering, and then punish the recovery of the fireball with your air harpoon. Or you can use it up close, in combos. You can do from the deep with that? Is that what he said? 
Or you can do cancels. Do one hit and then drop down and then continue your combo. You can also use it in your block pressure. Like say you've done this enough and you've conditioned the opponent to respect it and they're kind of frozen up waiting for the rockets. You can start doing this and then you can go around. You can go back. You can bait out like a like a poke, like a down one, and actually float out of the way and then do the air parpoon. So this is used offensively and defensively, but you have limited use. And kind of the specialist black mana players are going to have to judge, like, how long do they want to stay floating? Like, do they want to actually hover around and use the whole bar? Do they want to float for just a little bit, dodge something, and then immediately drop down? Do they want to use it for combos? It's definitely the most interesting thing about, like, I think, the way I think of Black Manta is, on the ground, just playing mid-range, he's a, he's a pretty simple character. He's kind of like Superman or Green Lantern. He's pretty straightforward. But then the flight is, that's the depth. There's a, a lot of layers of depth there with flight. Yeah, it it's seems not like really it. like anything else in the game. How long does it, how long did it take to recharge? Um, it's a pretty decent amount of time. It's, it's not something where, oh, you know, it's like, you'll never be able to use it again. But you can see it, it's a pretty decent amount of time. Like, can he use it before? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah okay. and, and yeah, you can use it. So you could have like a steady rhythm of using it. You don't have to wait till it's all the way back. What moves can he do in the air with it? He can do all of his air attacks. So he can do his normal attacks, and he can do his harpoon, and he can do his shark attack. Cool. Super move? Do it. Not the best that I've seen, but it's okay. Kitchen sink stuff right there. Yeah, he, he pretty much uses all of his coolest tools in one big move. Right on. Cool. So, yeah, I think Nancy's going to appeal to people who want to outrange you. Nancy. They want to outrange the other player, and they want to be able to deal with zoning, but they're not the type of player that wants to sit full screen and zone themselves. They want to get in, but they want to prevent the opponent from being able to get in. People are asking about the transition. Oh, the transition? Right. Well, um, it's another Black Manta, but my explanation would be this is a game about the multiverse. And that is actually the Black Manta of Earth 7191. And it is not this Black Manta, so it's perfectly canon. It makes a lot of sense. That other, that other Manta is sitting out there waiting for the regime to fall, and then he's going to try to take over Atlantis. He's hoping no one will notice. It's not the same Manta. Right, you're going... No. <laughs> like... Uh, see if I can get a good picture for y'all. Okay. Okay, so his explanation, the multiverse. Now, I know a lot of people, including myself, were very curious about the stage transition and how that was going to work out. Me, my, myself personally, I was hoping that they would kind of um, do something like cool and clever with this transition, but he's resulting to the multiverse. That, to me, is a cop-out. I mean, yes, technically it does make sense but at the same time it is a cop out I'm like eh, whatever black man to you guys there you have it um he looks to be very cool i love 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 that he's not a zoning type of character um, i love that he has very good mix-ups keep your opponent guessing keep your opponent on their feet um and just keep him confused overall his rockets they're pretty cool nice combo starters um as you all know i love that first move that they did from that far range that's going to be very powerful um from that far range that started in a low and ended in an overhead that was very very nice um his character power pretty nice um it's going to be very useful against like superman um uh dead shot even and the fact that he i think he did say that you can do that um you can link that into from the deep uh, special move that's going to be very powerful. Now, as far as his teleport goes, not the best teleport in the game. I mean, especially when compared to, like, Supergirl. Uh, Supergirl's teleport is pretty fast. Um, I'm not sure if it's safe on block or not. I'm not exactly sure. But they said that this was not safe on block. Um, his grapple looks to be cool. I won't probably use the neutral grapple, but I'll probably use the air grapple a lot in combination with the hover ability. Um, I want to know if it is safe on block or not it's probably not to be honest with you um it reminds me a lot of scorpion spear um where scorpion spear it wasn't safe on block so pretty much if the opponent caught you doing it and they blocked they would punish you um 
So I probably won't use a neutral one, but the air one looks to be pretty useful. Um, and then he has that uh, shark attack special, or yeah, it was a special move. The shark attack special move reminded me a lot of Raiden's Flying Thunder Guy technique. Um, and the fact that you can do it in the air is pretty decent. Um, it's, that'll be very useful against Superman. Um, so regardless, let me know what you guys think about Black Manta in the comment section. What characters are you looking forward to? And without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.